my name is Joel from Vibration Research Corporation. Today I want to demonstrate a significant deficiency in the way some control systems ramp up from one level to another during a random vibration test. In the current display on the left side of your screen, you see a PSD plot from a typical controller which we will call the sample controller, and on the right side a plot from a separate signal analyzer. For this demonstration, it is important to realize that the sample controller's plot is produced using a particular averaging technique, while the plot on the right side is simply a separate signal analyzer that displays the plot of the real-time input data. In this demonstration, the sample controller on the left is running a modified NavMap profile test. Currently, the test is running at 20 dB below level, but will ramp up to full level shortly. The averaging parameter is set to 200 degrees of freedom and the resolution to 1600 lines. Both plots on equally scaled axes represent the input data from an accelerometer mounted on the end of a 21 inch lawnmower blade. Currently the plots look quite similar, but the similarities will change shortly as the test ramps up to full level. Take note of the differences you observe during this change in level. You may start your observations now. Now that you've had an opportunity to observe the ramp up to full level, what differences in the plots did you notice? Let's go back and take a closer look at that change in level. Did you notice how the sample controller's plot jumped right into the tolerance and abort lines while the signal analyzer's plot gradually ramped up into position? Secondly, did you notice that when the sample controller's plot jumped to full level, it was merely a multiplication of the low-level plot. Meanwhile, the actual vibrations of the mower blade, as shown on the signal analyzer plot, had large resonances that were well outside the abort lines. Finally, did you notice that the sample controller's plot always remained within the tolerance lines while the real vibrations of the mower blade were for a time significantly outside of the tolerance and abort lines? This demonstration illustrates a significant weakness in the way some vibration controllers display input data. The main weakness is that although some controllers plots look nice and clean and stay within the tolerance lines, they do not display the true and actual vibrations of the mower blade. These control systems produce a full level plot that they anticipate should be produced based primarily on the low level data without sufficiently using the input feedback data. This produces a clean but unrealistic plot at full level. Consequently, test engineers ought to use vibration research controllers that automatically reset the averaging algorithm when a test calls for a change in level. Although this produces a spiky plot that includes lines that may be momentarily beyond abort lines, nevertheless, it produces a plot that realistically reflects the vibrations of a product without over-testing it.